I'm really excited for today because it's going to be a great day. As you can see, I'm not, a, I do not like painting. I feel like it gets, I do get it everywhere, as you can see, and it's never quick. It always takes longer than I want it to. And Caleb's the painter in the family. So <laughs> here's my artistic, fun colored way to address painting and protecting the beehive wood frames from the sun. I will begin with a short story. Once upon a time, roughly three years ago, we ordered this variety of queen bee that originates in Canada, or at least that's where they focus on their breeding at. They were out of stock, and then there became a weird import rule with the administration that prohibited or barred them from coming in. But based on history, they said that it changes all the time. So we opted to just wait. Surprise, surprise, they showed up today. And, and it's also the middle of July, which is not ideal. <laughs> but um, I have two of these queen bees. You can see she is just fine. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can see. And the other one I've already started, but I was planning on splitting one of my hives anyway. So while this is not an ideal time of year to split hives, at least in my experience, I am actually ready for one of these queens. So timing unexpectedly worked out perfectly. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna go about filming this, but I'm going to do this in two different methods. One is I'm going to literally just split the chambers of one hive and, and then I like to move the existing hive away from where it is and leave the new one there. So the foragers who have their GPS set to know where the hive is will leave in the morning and then come back to the new hive and help populate and establish that and welcome the new queen to the new hive. And then for the second method, which is a little bit more dicey, it's a, a brand new hive uh, with all of the frames in it and what I'm going to do is take out from a, another hive, I've got a few, I'm going to take out capped brood frame with some nurse bees and I'm just going to put it inside of this new hive and I'm going to supplement with feeding and I'm going to just leave it alone for a couple of days until the new queen is established there and hopefully they have enough of a head start with the capped brood hatching out that that hive can get up and on its way. I anticipate needing to feed this hive probably through the rest of the season, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to film that follows, but I will narrate some of it so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll do a follow-up video for where these hives are at in September, two months. Well, maybe we'll do all kinds of update videos in two months. You can see the finished garden spot, how a new one has evolved, We'll do an update video for everything that I've talked about garden-wise in two months. As you can see, this hive is currently a double brood box stack. It does have a queen extruder to keep the queen on the bottom half, um, which is where I'm going to split. As you can see, there's some comb being built on the front of the hive, and they are potentially getting ready to take off. So <laughs> this is clearly the next day. I tried to film last night, but I don't think anything is coming up. That's clear. But you can see where I took the brood box from the top of the double brood combination hive from yesterday and just put a new super on top. And this is the, com this is essentially the new one, the empty one that was split, and, and as you can see, bees are coming and going like 
they always know to come back to, but this time they are transitioning to a new queen. And then this hive is a little bit more active. They're a little bit more irritated because I gave them some new visual markers. They were relocated and this bottom brood box is where the queen of the double brood hive from yesterday was. And then this is a brand new empty super on top with the queen extruder from yesterday. And after, I don't know, three or four days, once the new hatches emerge and they reload, they know that this is where their home has always been. This will be less noisy. And then we will work on slowly getting it back to the apiary. So that's it for this video. Remember to be kind to your pollinators, grow your environment, and I'll share more with you soon. Tschüss! Hey guys, so just real quick, I'm looking at some of this footage as I do some editing, and I can see how, unless you know what I'm talking about, this is not going to make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> and it doesn't seem real inclusion-based type of education of what I'm doing, and I apologize. I thought I could film at night as to what exactly I was doing when I was doing it. And I thought my little headlamp was going to have enough lighting and it didn't. Um, and I am going to do better at this. <laughs> um, we're going to do a little update on how, if the queens take to their new hives and then how they're doing. Uh, but um, all of my little beekeeping apiary things are going to be better planned out in the future. So again, I'm so sorry if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about in this video.